Having a baby can be both wonderful and extremely scary for a woman. Even if an expectant mother does everything right, a newborn can still have problems. KLBK's Mitch Carr is with us now to talk about one mother who had some complications, but now there's, you know, some help that she's getting to deal with those. Terry, I was talking to our assignment editor before we went on, and he said that when his baby boy was born, he was so excited, but the first thing he did was count all the fingers and all the toes on his new baby boy to make sure that everything was the way it should be. It's something most parents can relate to, and thankfully most babies come out completely healthy. But one local mom was not so fortunate. Her son was born with multiple birth defects that threatened his life from the minute he took his first breath. But thanks to a new and rare piece of technology, the little guy is alive and kicking. Ten-month-old Kane Rodriguez doesn't know this, but the machine on his chest that's making him cry is also saving his life. Kane was born with a condition called prune belly syndrome. It's a series of birth defects that have left his lungs almost too weak for him to breathe on his own. Kane's situation was so dire at birth that doctors only gave him 72 hours to live. I thought he was going to die every time I went. They told me that there was no possible way he would survive. Kane's mother, Monica, has spent countless hours at University Medical Center watching over her little miracle. She's thankful he's alive. He's gone a long way. We've, almost, we've lost him almost three times already. Monica owes a lot of her thank yous to the machine vibrating on Kane's chest. It's called a biphasic cuirass ventilation machine. It works like a vacuum, applying pressure to make Kane's chest rise and fall because he lacks enough strength to do so on his own. He's had pneumonia, RSV. He's almost passed away until we found out about this machine, which has helped him a lot. Kane Rodriguez is the first patient in the entire state of Texas to use this machine. His doctor says Kane likely could not survive without the ventilation machine. So Kane enjoys his pacifier, while his mother knows just how lucky he is to be alive. And Kane has multiple surgeries scheduled in the near future. His doctors at UMC say that with those surgeries and with some more natural development of his lungs, he may one day be able to survive without this machine. Truly a miracle. All right, thanks, Mitch.